Hello beautiful souls, welcome to Heart Space Turn Astrology. Today we are going to do a pick a card reading. We have three groups here. The first group will be this one, this card, coming to life along with a, a clamshell. The second card and group will be this one, it's called Intention. And we have uh, this beautiful rose quartz. And the third but not the least, Solitude. We have an amethyst along with this group number three. Allow your higher self and your intuition to speak to you. The first card that you are drawn to, then that is your card and your message. Thank you so much for all the support, everybody. Uh, I will let you meditate for a couple of seconds and then I'll see you pretty soon. Hello beautiful souls, welcome to the Heart Space Theory on Astrology. If you pick group number one, then this message is for you. I'm working with the Enchanted Map Oracle, and uh, this is number 29, which breaks down into an 11. It's a, it's a master number. You might be seeing a lot of 11, 11 on the clock, you know, um, car plates and so on. And the message here is uh, coming to life. The first thing that I received, the first message from Spirit that I received when I saw this card is that you just have to show up. You just have to show up. That's what, I've, that's what I kept getting. There's something beautiful coming into your life. You just have to show up. It can be a very big dream of yours that you have never thought would be possible to come into creation. Something that didn't have the momentum that you wanted. Something that you felt uh, it was dormant for a long time and now it's going to come into reality. It's, it's really beautiful. Let's see. I want to get one card regarding past energies that we have to be aware of. Any past energies for you guys? Thank you so much. Thank you. Knight of Wands. See, Knight of Wands, it's an energy of in and out, not quite a very committal energy, not something stable, not something solid. It's basically somebody that will come in, tell you something, make you feel something, and then they will just walk away. I heard it wasn't the time, it wasn't the right time then, in the past. Things were being woven, that's what I'm getting. Mm, okay, let's keep going. Tell us about present energies for you guys. Present energies. Group number one. Wow, Ace of Wands, yes. I feel like a very pa passionate and driven energy here. I'm getting that for some of you, you are receiving a lot of downloads, yet you're not really understanding what those are. You're feeling your body, uh, it's feeling different. Uh, maybe you're having a lot of uh, migraines. You are feeling maybe a little nauseous, a little dizzy. These are one of the symptoms of uh, spirit downloading information within us. This is a new beginning that's coming. Group number one. And it's coming with an ace of wands. It's beautiful. It's passionate. It's your dream becoming reality. What you should be focusing on right now? What you should be focusing on for group number one. Judgment. I heard release and renewal. For some of you, there's a relationship, there's a reunion coming back. Not for all of you, okay? You will know. You will know that this is the right time. You have felt it for a long time that this moment would arrive. I'm getting that it's a last call to action and I'm also getting that if you are in a love connection, this, your person, is getting a wake-up call from their spirit guides. If this is not a love connection, I'm getting that whatever was sleeping, whatever was dormant, whatever dream you had for such a long time and you were not able to make it a reality, now it's being brought to life, now it's being 
awakened, okay? All these energies are coming to life. Focus on that energy. Focus on setting your intentions and manifesting. Uh, although I'm getting not even, you don't even have to focus, just allow, just allow all these energies to come to the surface. What should you avoid? What should you avoid? The month of August, Four of Swords. Four of Swords usually indicates a reflection, meditation, hibernation. What I'm getting is that you should avoid sleeping on your dream. You should avoid pushing whatever energies are coming to the surface. Work with that. Your body and your intuition will be very present in the month of August. And what spirit wants is for you to work with this renewal energy, with this Ace of Wands that's going to be undeniable in your life. You're going to feel it, group number one. You're going to feel this uh, amazing drive. You're going to wake up one day and you're going to be... Oh, look at that, the star. Yes, this is all about your dreams coming true. You, uh, guide, you being guided by spirit guides in creating your dream life, in creating whatever reality you want to live in. For whoever is interested in the love forecast, what do we have for group number one, spirit guides? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Ten of Swords and the Empress. For somebody very clear, if you are in a relationship with a Taurus or you have some, on, some kind of an unhealthy dynamic with a Taurus, you have to release that person. Okay? others of you loving yourself first is the first step in opening yourself up to a healthy connection to a healthy external connection the empress it's taurus energy the empress it's very generous the empress knows her or his worth and they are not going to settle for less i'm going to clarify these energies let's keep going Okay, any career forecast for group number one? What they need to know regarding their careers for you guys? Okay. The sun. The sun is shining. Finally, at your door, I heard. Finally, the sun is here. Oh, okay. I heard that the sun is a release. You might be getting uh, some money that will release your burdens okay if you have uh, some loans that you have to pay that money will come in this is happiness i'm getting that your career will uh, change for the better just be in the sun energy have this positive attitude and know that you are a free spirit if something doesn't work in your career please see things from different perspectives and try to get to the place where you are happy and passionate with the things that you are pursuing. Okay, and likely outcome. What the future has in store for group number one. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Wow, the Lovers, Nine of Swords and Two of Wands. Decisions. Something will come to life. You have to show up. This is the main uh, message for you, group number one. The lovers is Gemini energy. The lovers, it's all about decisions. Decisions of the heart. I don't want to feel like somebody's going to get married or um, you're going to get engaged in August. And this will be a major decision that you have to take. Two of Wands, it's once again about decisions. It's uh, choosing between two paths, okay? Being pretty much at a crossroads. And Nine of Swords, yeah, this might cause you a bit of anxiety and uh, anxiousness. I don't feel like you're going to be in this state for too long, okay? And if there's something that you have to st stir away from, it's fear, which is false evidence appearing real. 
you don't want to be in that energy it's a low vibrational energy please use the sun beautiful vibrational energy to run with whatever is going to uh, occur in the month of august let's see about this beautiful ace of wands in the present what is this about what's coming what's this new vibrant <laughs> passionate new beginning thank you sweet guys show us clearly wow this actually fell in the past position five of swords six of swords eight of cups wow see if you're still holding on to a connection that's been in your life um, very inconsistently spirit want you to revisit that spirit want you to look within yourself and see how much love you have to give and the people and the connections and the dynamics that are unhealthy that are not showing up in the way that you want them to show up in your life you have to release those you have to detach yourself from those people and those energies knight of wands it can be anything all i know is that this person it's not somebody that you can trust this energy is not something that you can trust five of swords it can be a deceitful energy here six of swords for me this tells me that you have to move towards calmer waters with calm with peace without causing um, too much turbulation out of cups it's actually interesting because i saw i was meditating on uh, on whatever the messages are going to be for the august readings and i received uh, i kept seeing eight of cups and the full eight of cups and the full which tells me that you have to move away from what no longer serves you into the full which is new beginning which is you taking risks towards this beautiful dream that you have that's coming to life see eight of cups is moving towards coming to life look at that okay what to avoid i do want to clarify this energy here what's that about what to avoid a bit more about the four of swords spirit thank you we have queen of pentacles nine of cups and the hierophant avoid non-committal energies avoid people that are going to give you just a little to keep you guessing to keep you kind of stuck in this circle in this toxic circle nine of cups it's all about you going after your wishes and dreams it's a wish fulfillment card of course it's not for all of you but you have a, a person here an individual that's keeping you stuck it's keeping you stuck from you receiving this energy it can be a taurus the hierophant is showing up which is a taurus energy here or a taurus virgo or capricorn do not sleep on this dream anymore you have the courage you have the determination and you have the tools spirit is with you spirit will show you the way let's see what is this love forecast here ten of swords and the empress seven of cups ace of cups sorry page of cups sorry and two of wands again where do we have two of wands had in the likely outcome see this person whoever this empress is it's keeping you in a very confused state with the seven of cups it's like them creating ghost stories that's what i heard to keep you in a connection that's very empty and very dry page of cups yeah sure it's somebody honest in a way but it's uh it's somebody that has so much to learn right page of cups it's a child it's a messenger it's a very young energy they are not at the level that you are they're not two of wands you have to look ahead you have to look at your future 
You gave this your all, that's what I heard. Now it's time for you to detach. It's time for you to go. Do not sleep on it. Show up, you gotta show up. Remember the message? Tell us more about the sun, the career. What else do you have for group number one? Why this fell on the, huh? Yeah, I have a beginner's mind. I have a beginner's mind. Two of Cups. Beautiful energy here. You might have met your soulmate or you are going to meet your soulmate in the month of August. But I'm feeling like this is a new job, actually. This is either a new job or you are getting a raise. You are being promoted. That's what I'm feeling here. Three of Cups. Yeah. You're being promoted and you're going to meet your tribe. The more you feel like you belong in a group, the more you're going to understand the people that you still hold on to and that are so far from what you want in your life. You're going to meet them in the month of August and you're going to make some new friends. That's what I'm feeling here. Just have a positive mindset. You have always been a free spirit, group number one. You have to remember that. Okay, and likely outcome, let's see. What is this about? What is this decision about? Ooh, Knight of Cups, an offer of love, and Ace of Pentacles, new money, new opportunities, new work investments. That's what I heard. Yeah, go with it. Say yes. <laughs> Say yes, group number one. An Eight of Wands. Action, communication, travel. Uh, this, this easy... This easy back and forth between somebody, that's what I'm feeling here. It will all work out, group number one. If you're stressed about some money issues, if you're stressed that you're not going to get that job, whatever it is, the sun is on your side. The most happy and positive and successful in some way card and energy in tarot. Let's see, 29. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at, very, at the very least, matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and or and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Oh goodness, I love this. I'm getting the chills because for whoever I'm reading, August, it's going to be the beginning of your dreams becoming reality. All right, let's get a couple of charms really quick. Anything more specific that group number one needs to know? Okay, we have angels watching over me. Oh, yes, group number one. You are so protected. You're always protected, group number one. What a beautiful uh, little charm here. Okay, we have Aquarius. For some of you, you might be an Aquarius or you are dealing with an Aquarius. We have Scorpio. And then we have Sagittarius. Pisces. I'm getting... Uh, See, this is the circle that I've been talking about. The, the more you identify the patterns, the unhealthy patterns that you have to detach yourself from, the closer you're going to be to receive this beautiful gift from the divine. We have a flower. Beautiful. I'm getting yellow for some reason. My love yellow flowers. I heard sunflowers. We have a butterfly. We have two butterflies. Ah, oh, beautiful. There's a lot of transmutation that it's happening for you, group number one. And there is a lot of shedding of the skin. Shedding of the layers that are no longer in alignment with you. Beautiful. Okay. All right. If this resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And let me know in the comment box down below, what is your story? What's this big dream that you had? since forever let's see from the sacred traveler what else do we have for group number one thank you 
First light, beginning a new cycle. And the sun is right there. Wow. Coming to life, first light. This is all about creation. Creating your new beginning, creating your new cycle. How beautiful. Anything else for you guys? Void of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Isn't that true? We are here to experience most and foremost love. And we need to feel ourselves up with love in order for us to give and receive in a healthy way. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past, heal the present. Absolutely. I'm getting that rain for some of you. You love uh, spending time in the rain. Rain is a healing element for you, group number one. Keep that in mind, okay? Let's get an animal guide for you for the month of August who will be there to protect you and can call upon. Thank you, spirit guides, for group number one. Bison! Abundance. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. Wow, that gave me chills. I'm feeling for some of you that you have a very special connection with bison. Abundance is going to show up in your life, group number one. Fill your life and your energy with abundance, with this energy of abundance. Because when you feel that you have abundance in your life, when you manifest that energy, it will show up. It will manifest in your reality, okay? And good luck on your new adventure. I do feel you are ready. Thank you so much, group number one. I wish you nothing but the best. And I hope to see you back here at the Heart Space. Love you. Bye-bye. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to the Heart Space. If you pick group number two and this lovely card from the Enchanted Map Oracle. It's called Intention and number 22. I'm feeling that you are seeing a lot of 222s on your path for quite a while now. I would say a couple of months. And you have no idea why. The main message here from Spirit is that you need to be very intentional with what you're doing throughout the day in order to manifest. That's only for some of you. For others, I do feel like you are very intentional since uh, the first moment you open your eyes and you are seeing a lot of evidence and you are seeing how your world is changing. Owl can be very significant in your energy. You might be seeing owls. You might be dreaming a lot about owls. This is the creation, this egg of your gifts that are coming into reality because of your intentions. Beautiful, really beautiful. Let's keep going. I want to get an energy uh, regarding past. What do we have to know? Group number two regarding past energies, past messages. Thank you. Temperance, beautiful. Keeper of the well. You've been very, very patient and tempered. That's what I'm getting. In that stillness and in that beautiful water element, you've reached, you've reached this amazing alignment between your yin and yang. You've reached a beautiful balance between your dark and light side. For some of you, you have a white dog or white pet that you hold very dear in your heart. Okay, present energies, please. Present energies, please. Queen of Pentacles, beautiful. Might be an earth sign, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles, it's somebody with very uh, healthy core values. Somebody that understands that you got to get your hands dirty in order for you to create, in order for you to set a legacy. Queen of Pentacles, it's abundant, uh, very hardworking, 
she understands the beauty of Mother Gaia and how to get in touch with Mother Gaia so she can create this abundant energy that she sits in. I'm getting poppies here. Somebody's flo favorite flowers are poppies. What is important for you to focus on in the month of August? What is it, spirit guys? Page of Wands and the Chariot. There's some stuff you put in motion, but not quite full drive. I, for some of you, will make sense, okay? The Chariot, it's all about progress, action, and alignment. Focus on your intentions, the power of your intentions, because this will take you into a successful place. You want to feel free, group number two. You're dreaming of this chariot energy with this page of wands. You're looking at it. You're setting your intentions to be in this chariot energy. Ch the chariot is also public recognition. I'm getting that you are setting your intentions to create something that will take you into the spotlight. 100%. I feel like freedom is very important in your life. Independence and freedom. And Queen of Pentacles, it's all about that. Okay, what to avoid? What to avoid? What to avoid in the month of August? Five of Cups. Grief, pain. Uh, not wanting to release something that's been uh, dormant and dead for a long time. Let it go. Detach and release group number two. I feel like you've been into this grief energy for far too long. You can move on now, group number two. Avoid getting sucked into this energy over and over again. That's the message here. What's the love forecast for whoever is interested in the love forecast for the month of August? Thank you. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you are going to meet somebody very generous with their energy, with their money, with their time. You're going to see a different side of what you can have in a relationship. I'm going to clarify this really soon. What about career? What can we find out regarding career for group number two? What are the messages? What are the messages here, please? Hmm. Four of Pentacles. Um, I'm feeling that you are struggling a little bit with uh, to make ends meet here, and you are holding so tightly to what you have. Spirit's message and advice is to invest some of the money, to take some kind of risks, okay? When the time comes, because there will be a time in August when there will be an offer on the table and you might have to give away two of your pentacles. The message here is to take risks because the risks that you are going to take will pay off. There's a lot of opportunities around you, group number two. Do not set yourself, do not focus only on one element or on one job or on one specific field. You are really good. You have a lot of skills and abilities that you know that you can tap into. Do not settle for less. That's what I'm getting. Know your worth, okay? A lot of the people, a lot of the uh, skills that you have, not everybody can do. I'm getting, for example, that you are really good at drawing or you, you can easily be an architect, for example, okay? Open up your perspective. There's so much more out there for you because you have the skills. Take risks. That's how we evolve. <laughs> That's how we evolve. All right, let's see. What's the likely outcome, Spirit Guides? Oh, my beautiful group number two. Oh, okay. That fell on the past position. Hmm, okay. 
see the heart front it is a Taurus energy magician at the bottom there's an organization there's a dynamic here there's something that um, kept you in a dark space and now that you have the answers you've seen it the likely outcome is that Ten of Swords, it's all about releasing something, letting letting something die, letting something go. And Ten of Wands, it's a release of a burden. It's uh, the end of a karmic cycle. Okay, karmic cycle, it's uh, being highlighted here. It might be, you might have been in a karmic cycle with a Taurus. But what I'm getting here is that it's an organization. It's it's some kind of a group some it can be a family dynamic that kept you in the dark regarding your power regarding uh, your higher self regarding uh, your light and how limitless you are and you're saying no more i'm gonna let this go i'm gonna release this once and for all i heard and I'm going to drop all these burdens and all that worry and stress and move towards my new cycle. Set your intentions, group number two. It will happen. Be intentional about what you want in your life. Very intentional. That's what I'm getting. Okay, well, let's clarify, shall we? What to focus on? Let's see this energy, please. What to focus on? Page of Wands and the Chariot, Two of Swords, Five of Wands. Okay, yeah, I heard don't be persuaded by the drama around you. Uh, don't, don't move your focus from what truly matters here. Because there's a lot of chatter, there's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of conflict around you. And you have to stay very focused on your dream, stay very focused where you want to go, okay? Wow, beautiful judgment energy. Judgment is about renewal. It's about a last call to action. It's about you waking up from the dead as the phoenix, a different version of you, more elevated, more evolved with this temperance in the past energy and seeing things for what they truly are. There might be Sagittarius very important in your life in the month of August. Okay, what to avoid? Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Page of Wands. We have in the what to focus on, right? Two of Cups. Eight of Swords and the Strength. Yeah. Yeah, there will be people, elements in your life that will try to suck you back in into confusion, into a state of anxiousness, into a state of, oh, I don't know the answer, I don't know what to do, uh, I don't know where I belong. You do. Set your intentions, be very focused. I'm telling you, group number two, if you are staying very focused on your dreams and your goals and accomplishments, this energy will not stand in the face of light and in the face of truth I'm feeling like there's a connection a very close connection that you had in the past and it might try to sneak up once again to see if you're you know if you're if you truly left or if you still have some remnants of the past that you're holding on to spirit is saying now you have a balanced understanding of what this connection was and you have to let it go. You have to let it go because this connection or this uh, energy, this vibrational energy will never sum up to the idea of love that you have in your heart. It will always uh, lack something. That's what I'm getting. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Love forecast. What is this about, three guys? The moon, Scorpio energy, queen of swords, air energy, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and then eight of wands, which is communication, very quick communication. So for some of you, it's a Scorpio, for others will be an air sign. That's going to show up in your life, and it's 
So it really doesn't matter the, the zodiac signs or the gender, whatever. It's this energy of somebody being very generous with your time, very generous in allowing you in. What I'm getting is that this person will show you what was lacking in uh, whatever this past connection was about. They're going to fill the void. They're going to fill that empty spot. And you're going to understand why this connection from the past didn't work. What was missing. Their love language, okay? For some of you, their love language will be very close to yours. Okay, let's see. And uh, what else should we clarify here? Four of Pentacles. Career, please. Career. Career. <laughs> wow, Four of Pentacles again. Three of Swords. And Seven of Cups. Yeah. Clarity, it's needed here. Uh, taking steps and risks towards a healing vibrational energy. Because I'm feeling like you are seeing a lot of what's wrong you're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of the negative elements in your life spirit guides want you to switch your perspective intentions interesting because 22 it can uh, be a four as well and we got a lot of fours on the table okay i'm i heard it for some of you august 4th will be very important and it will set a precedent it will be a game changer See through the veil, see through the clarity, you have what it takes. Take it day by day, take it step by step, okay? If you have too many options, uh, allow yourself to meditate on it, to take some time to sleep on it, okay? You're going to receive the answers. You're going to spirit guides and your higher self. It's always there to help you through crossroads, to help you through tough decisions. And at the bottom, we have Ten of Pentacles, an amazing legacy. Please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell if this resonated with you and you enjoyed this reading. I would love to have you back here, the heart space. This is the Sacred Traveler. What else? We have group number two, please. <laughs> two of Cups, wanted to show up again. <laughs> okay, we have Miracles. Wow, expect the wondrous to emerge. Set your intentions. Miracles are going to happen in the month of August. And choosing your path, yes. Please choose your path. Do not sit into this uh, very confused state. Okay? Bring clarity through meditation, through stillness. And choose your path. All is possible. Absolutely. Okay, and let's get an animal guide that will be with you in the month of August and beyond that you can call upon. For group number two. Thank you, spirit guides. We have tiger, fire, see? There is something with the fire that you can work with in the month of August. So, for example, if you want to light a candle and meditate and try to find the answer, that will bring you clarity and it will bring you the answers you are looking for, okay? Tiger. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. I love it. You are bold. You are brave. And never underestimate your power and setting intentions. I'm being guided to use the book of answers for you. I want you to think of one question. And I will open this book at the right answer guided by spirit guides. Okay? So think of a question out loud in your mind, whatever it is, and then we're going to open this up. Are you ready? Let's see. You are sure to have support. It is a yes. You are not alone. You are protected. And people will show up in your life from nowhere when you are going to step into your purpose your tribe will show up. It will happen by surprise. It will happen out of nowhere. Okay? You have support. Thank you so much, group number two. I hope this answered your question. And I hope to see you back here at the Heart Space. Take care of yourself and happy August. Love you. Bye-bye. This message 
Hello my loves, if you picked group number three with this beautiful card uh, it's called Solitude number 13 which breaks down into a four then this message is for you. It's interesting because I shuffled the three groups and uh, so we had 22 in the second group and then 13 which uh, both breaks into a four. If you've been drawn to see group number two as well I'm getting for some of you then please go ahead and watch it okay solitude you're being called from spirit guides to take some time out there's a lot of uh, triggering that I'm feeling here and because you're not fully seeing your shadow and light and balancing that you're being sucked into other people's shadows Time out is needed, solitude, sitting in the void, sitting in the nothing. Hmm. Thank you, Spirit, because all is nothing and nothing is all. The water is a reflection of what you are putting out in the universe. And I'm feeling like your energy, it's a little muddy right now. I feel like you took upon people's problems people's auras, people's shadows, and now I feel like a lot of who you think you are is just people's projections. This is from uh, the Enchanted Map Oracle. Let's see, number 13. I'm comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Yes, detachment. Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superficial thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period of a conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off of your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. I'm getting also that you are loved, group number three, and you are never alone. You might have been going through a tough time right now, but replenishing your soul, replenishing your energy, it's very important. If you can spend time beside a body of water, it will be very beneficial for you. Take a vacation, you know, do something that you love. Dance freely and wildly. Uh, whatever makes you happy, please start doing that. Okay. Tell us about past energies for you guys, for group number three. Thank you. The full. Look at that. I do feel like you haven't taken the risks that you have been guided uh, from spirit guides to take in the past. Maybe you settle for less. Maybe um, how society saw you, how society felt about you was very important in the past. You didn't. You did not take the leap. I. I'm reading energies. I feel like the fool should be reversed. You did not take risks in the past because you wanted the people that you love and the people that you care about to see you in a, in a positive light, to see you as a teacher. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it is something about family and how they, and how they look at you and what opinion they have about you tell us more about uh, present energies present energies for you guys thank you nine of cups yeah you gotta do you you gotta feel and replenish all those cups you have to concentrate on your wish fulfillment on your dreams spend time in nature group number three um if possible, next to a body of water. Nine of Cups, it's all about emotions. It's about indulging a little. Buy yourself some flowers, you know. Do something beautiful for you for a change. What to focus on in the month of August? 
Mm, this didn't really want to show up, but I'll take it. Queen of Wands. What to focus on? Yourself. <laughs> Look at that. And Six of Swords. It's all about spiritual evolution. It's all about removing yourself from a version of yourself that's no longer in alignment with where you are going. Queen of Wands is somebody that will not take less than they deserve. Queen of Wands is a superpower. Queen of Wands will not allow people to disrespect her or would not allow people to suck her or his energy without something in return. You know, it's a give and take always in any kind of dynamic or relationship. You know, Queen of Wands Queen of Wands is a very intelligent individual, okay, with a very warm heart. She earned her way in the world. She's got a lot of talents, Queen of Wands, and she knows it, okay? She will run with that. I'm getting that you're very sensitive to people's problems. You're an empath. You're very empathetic, and uh, because of that, you are taking on so much of other people's shadows, dramas, conflicts, stress, anxiety. Sorry, that's my dog. For example, when you go out, even shopping, you're coming back home uh, with your energy exhausted, with your energy drained. That's because you are an empath. And because of that, spending time in solitude, spending time alone to replenish your energy and your soul, it's a must. It is. All right, let's keep going. What to avoid in the month of August for group number three? Ten of Wands, again, taking on people's drama and burdens. You are caring so much, group number three. Look at that. Release, detach, find uh, practices, exercises to basically put a bubble around you whenever you go out to protect yourself from taking on too much of people's lives and people's emotions. You have your emotions to deal with and that's enough, okay? What can you tell us about love? The love forecast for the month of August. Okay, that wanted to come out. The moon. The moon is Scorpio energy. The moon is somebody very psychic. Uh, owl. See, I think group number two had a very special connection with owls. You are seeing owls. You are dreaming about owls. Owls, I feel like owls will bring you messages and will bring you guidance in the month of August. I'm going to clarify this. Let's keep going. The career, anything about career? Group number three, please. Judgment. It's incredible because the judgment card came in all three groups. Now we know that the judgment energy, it's all about renewal. It's all about waking up. It's a wake up call. It's a last call to action, okay? And I'm getting that you are being awakened to your soul's purpose. You're being awakened, for example, if you are in a job position that's not, uh, that's not feeding your soul and your happiness. You're awakening to your power, to your soul's purpose. You're awakening to where you have to be. Spirit guides are waking you up. <laughs> and I feel like it's going to be a rude awakening uh, and what I mean by that is that you're going to have this massive this massive um, epiphany you know why what am I doing here what what am I doing with my life what am I doing here likely outcome Queen of Cups beautiful Queen of Cups is a telepath. It's somebody very in touch with uh, his or her emotions. It's somebody that understands self-care. 
somebody that understands that replenishing your soul and your emotions, your bodies, all your bodies, it's a must in order for you to show up in a healthy way in people's lives. One more, please. Likely outcome. Might be some, uh, some of you that are watching this uh, might be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And the chariot, beautiful. The chariot is a massive yes from the universe in the world recognizing you and spirit recognizing your hard work and your dreams. I'm feeling like you're going to be in the spotlight regarding something that starts with M. Okay, that came out. What is that about? <laughs> or maybe music, medicine, maybe a doctor. You're going to be in the spotlight. A lot of water here, a lot of emotions. Water, 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 water. Wow. Yeah, it's all about emotions. You have to balance your emotions. You have to understand how powerful and telepathic you are. And how to work with that. How to work with your emotions. Three of Wands. Beautiful. Okay, let's clarify. Oh, let's get a couple of charms I heard first. Let's find out anything else that can help us understand the message for you guys. Thank you. Okay, we have Virgo. Some of you, hey, we have a musical note. So for some of you, it's music that will take you into the spotlight. We have a heart. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah, I feel like your emotional body is very highlighted during this time. That's why you have to prioritize self-care and solitude. We have a will. Uh, it's interesting because now I'm feeling, I'm getting that this is your will of fortune. The tides are changing, that's what I'm getting. And a beautiful butterfly. Butterfly, it's all about transformation. It's all about shedding your layers. It's all about seeing the beauty. Seeing the beauty in the now, really. Seeing the beauty in the now. Okay, let's uh, clarify. Tell me more about the uh, present energies here. Four of Cups. More Cups. Wow. Four of Wands. I'm telling you, number four, it's uh, very significant for you. Group number three. And Four of Swords. Wow. Four, four, four. Whenever you're seeing these angel numbers, know that angels and spirit guides are trying to connect with you. They're trying to download messages and information. 100%. What this tells me is that it's very important for you to meditate. It's very important for you to find ways to meditate. It can be even you taking a walk. It can be you taking a bath. It can be, I don't know, it can be you drawing. It can be you singing, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be you just sitting in one place with your hands in a Zen position and uh, just allowing. It can be anything. You, you find the best a meditation exercise that fits you okay wow like whew. please uh, go ahead and search uh, angel number 444 and what's the meaning of it there's some information from spirit guides that is going to show up regarding your foundation your physical foundation your home your um, family I'm getting that in the past, this fool wasn't able to do its thing <laughs> because you had too many responsibilities. Meditate, stillness, solitude, priority, group number three. What I'm getting is that one of the things that you have to meditate on, it's why you give society your power. Why do you have to care so much about what society and people around you care. Tell more about the full and past. What is this about? 
Page of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and Three of Wands. Yeah. You had to help somebody, it can be your family, um, or it was a job position that di that kept you pretty much stuck. Something kept you from dreaming, something kept you from seeing these three of wands, which is all about opening up to what the world can offer, allowing the opportunities to come in because you've done so much. You've done so much for other people, you've done so much for yourself, and you have to see the abundance coming in. Spirit wants this for you. And I feel like you basically put a big wall because you didn't want to disappoint other people, because you cared what society thought of you, of what you do, of your job, whatever it is for, it will be different for all of you. The bigger you dream, the closest to your purpose you're going to be. What's a void? What's a void? King of Cups, we have a Queen of Cups here, we have a match. Two of Swords, Devil, wow, and Ten of Swords. Avoid temptations, absolutely. Um, I'm getting that you, somebody, can be another water sign, but somebody is restricting your view to see your power. You're giving your power to other people so easily, group number three, without you maybe even knowing. It's, it's very, because you're so open, you're a telepath, you're an empath. Because you're so empathetic, and you are so wide open and so vulnerable that you are giving away your power. You are taking on a lot of people's burdens and you are feeling yourself depleted at the end of the, of the day. Detach. Detachment is your lesson. Oh, wow, okay. Your karmic lesson that you're going to learn in this lifetime, and you're so close to learning this, it's detachment, knowing how to detach. It can be a Capricorn as well, in your midst. But it's somebody that wants you to have the blinds on, wants you to not have the clarity, wants you to not have the power, or not understanding that you have the power to take off your blinds, and see what's really around you. Let's see this moon. What is this about for the love forecast? Pretty powerful group number three. Four, four, four. Amazing. That doesn't really happen often. The world and nine of pentacles. Capricorn. Energy here. Uh, the sooner you are understand your gifts and your power, the sooner you don't allow people to affect your emotional body, the sooner you understand your self-worth and how much, how abundant and fertile you are, the closer you are to a love story like no other. If you are at a very high vibrational level, you are going to attract the same exact people. The world is Capricorn energy. You might meet a Capricorn in uh, August that will help you see yourself as a beautiful goddess or god. It feels like a soulmate. It's somebody that inspires you. It's somebody that sees who you are before you can see who you are, you know? Somebody that sees the beauty and how gifted and how beautiful and how powerful and how incredible you are before you can reach that. And why? Because we are the worst, our own worst critics. Tell me more about this career energy here. Judgment. Judgment, please. Wow. So we had Nine of Cups. In the present energy right and now we have in career we have 988 wow a lot of uh, angel numbers here and the tower hangman <gasps> lovers wow 
man a lot a lot of revelations coming your way group number three didn't we have well we had two of swords which is again somebody that's blind in here somebody that gives their power away see because you're not looking at your dreams at your wish fulfillment because you are way too much sucked into other people's problems spirit guides will wake you up to who you truly are to what you are meant to do because i'm feeling for some of you you have some spiritual gifts that you have to bring into reality you are a light worker you can be a counts a counselor you can be a psychologist you have some telepathic skills and gifts that you have to that you are not aware yet eight of wands it's about action drive travel communication and this is communication from spirit guides with this tower a hundred percent things need to crumble i'm feeling that for some of you you are in a job that's causing you a lot of unhappiness is not helping you grow and the month of august is the time when spirit guides will give you the clarity will crumble a lot of your foundations for you to be able to see what's your path in this lifetime okay i want to clarify this likely outcome for the cups and the chariot what is this about spirit guides yep ace of wands king of pentacles earth energy and seven of wands see there will be a lot of opportunities coming in the month of august and these opportunities have um, hints of what you always wanted to do yet you're feeling like it's unreachable so you will feel like you want to put a stop on it or you'll feel like you're not ready for it yet you are ready you are ready to bring whatever uh, this Ace of Wands is. It's, a, it's creation. It's a passionate creation. It's a spark of a divine gift that you are going to channel. And it's very protected with the Seven of Wands. It cannot be taken away. You just have to show up. You just have to allow spirit to work through you. You have, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this Queen of Wands. I am identifying you as Queen of Wands because she knows her talents. She, she is very empathetic. Uh, believe it or not, she's been through a lot. That's why she's not going to settle for less. Uh, she's not going to commit to anything less than she wants, and that's why everybody is attracted to that energy. She he or she knows exactly what they want what they're going to permit in their life because they've been there they've done that i love this energy of the queen of wands right now please like and subscribe if this resonated with you turn on the notification bell let me know how this 444 resonates with you okay i would love that so let's get a couple of oracle cards from the sacred traveler for you group number three passion and pleasure savor your life uh, queen of wands it's all about that queen of wands it's all about adventure passion pleasure self-care uh putting a lot of the love and nourishment within herself savor your life group number three how oh, beautiful and uh, we have the fire element here taking shelter the answers are within oh my goodness yes that's all about solitude solitude taking shelter the answers are within the answers are always within group number three always that's why you need to spend some time with yourself beautiful what is your spirit uh, guide that will be with you in the month of August and beyond that you can call upon for protection and guidance? Group number three. Well, you have two, so I will take them. Oh, three. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. 
So we have elk, nobility. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. Your crown with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. You are all that. You, I feel like you are celebrating your accomplishments with humility and you are not yet seeing all the powers and all the gifts that you have. I feel spiritual gifts. We have a pronghorn action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. Action equals success for you. Group number three. So I heard that these two are messages from your spirit guides to open the door into understanding that you have spiritual gifts that are coming towards you and you're going to gain a lot of clarity and success throughout this journey and new cycle and that this is your uh, animal guide that will protect you which is hawk messenger okay the hawk messenger spirit it's sending you messages oh yes oh yes group number three <laughs> Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have so many distractions. That's why you have to sit in solitude. Oh, absolutely. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Spirit needs to send you messages. They have important information that, that, that you have to be aware of. And the only way for you to receive these messages is for you to sit in solitude. Thank you so much, group number three. I really hope this was helpful. I do encourage you to uh, check out the 444 angel number and also uh, the symbolism of Hawk and what maybe, I feel like for some of you, you are going to receive parts of this message through you researching 444 and the hawk symbolism, okay? Thank you so much. I hope to see you here back at the heart space. Be gentle with yourself and take care of yourself. Love you. Bye-bye.